Hello everyone. Uh, in this lesson, we will continue with the state management using block. And in this lesson, I uh, continue with the example of uh, login and authentication using Firebase. Uh, this example allows user to log in using uh, their email and password and using their uh, account, uh, your their Gmail account. So let's start by creating flutter create firebase login block so firebase login block here is my project name okay so uh, wait a few seconds and then you open with android studio browse to your project wait a few seconds and remove some unnecessary code for example team data not necessary home not necessary and remove my home page uh, widgets and replace the home with uh, my widgets for so uh, you, you can add a center uh, inside uh, and uh, surrounded by a scaffold and inside the uh, the center we have a text widgets so here uh, we have body of text and the text here login with firebase so uh, we will log in with gmail or login with email and password we set the text style uh, font size okay and run the program to see so after uh, waiting uh, it's code build and uh, we can see the output login with firebase okay uh, so remove uh, the scaffold, the text, and then we replace the center and try to uh, give you more uh, easier to see the output. Okay. So uh, in Google, we search for uh, Firebase console and uh, create a new project by pressing add project and uh, so we have flutter code here and then uh, we render two version of iOS and Android and we have two file to configuration file Google service info plist for iOS and Google service dot JSON for Android yes then uh, the iOS folder here and the Android is here. Then you must search uh, these two files and save to this folder or uh, save to uh, this directory. So change directory to iOS and open this file or uh, this Xcode workspace runner Xcode workspace and you must copy your bundle identifier let's copy this and uh, uh, here in the project you can remove the o yes i remove the o i create and i remove yes and recreating uh, for you to see then press to ios and paste uh, the bundle identifier to this and press add and press download and uh, browse to your folder inside the flutter folder of your ios project okay uh, and here you click to this file and drag and drop you click to this file drag and drop yes and press ok drag and drop to your project okay so in uh, this file i can open to uh, source yes this is a photo your for your android and this is written in kotlin so click to main activity dot kt kt mean kotlin then copy this identifier and add a new application choose android and paste here okay and press register up okay so next then we we uh, see that the google service must be saved to here yes you must save this file to the 
app photo inside the android photo yes click to here and inside app yes paste to here i think paste to here is enough okay so next and then we are uh, in project level build dot rattle so click to rattle up your project and paste this line to here so it did is google service and then in uh, build rattle of your application module you copy this line to apply plugin and browse to here double click to build rattle of your application and paste to here apply plugin okay and save this file okay so copy this line for google firebase or google analytics and paste to here as google firebase analytics yes and skip this step not necessary and then you have a two configuration okay so thank you very much for watching uh, this lesson see you in this lesson